The Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF. Hey, Kara Oosteros here with realagriculture.com. I am here today with a Pulse School episode, and I have here with me John Gavlosky, who is the Provincial Entomologist with Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development. How are things on your end? I'm doing great. What are field conditions like right now out there? Um, generally good. We've had decent rain. In fact, some areas of the province, too much rain. So I know people are worried about uh, disease and pathogens, but generally the crops are growing good. Great. So we're here today to talk about pea aphids and scouting for them. So the first step is getting out in the field and looking for them. What can you tell producers about scouting for pea aphids? So first of all, the timing is critical. Um, flowering is a good time to be scouting for aphids and peas. The the most damage that they can do is going to occur in the very early potting stage. But we don't want you to wait until then to do your scouting. A lot of people want to be out at flowering anyway, scouting just to see what their um, uh, if there if there's a need for fungicides. So while you're doing that, look for aphids. Uh, again, flowering is the proper time to be scouting for them. Uh, they're not difficult to scout for. There's two techniques you can use. You can use a sweep net and do sweeps, or you could take some plant tips and examine roughly the the uh, top 20 centimeters or so of the plant tips. Uh, you can do it by just looking at them. Or often I'll take them and shake them over a tray or something to try and knock the aphids off of the, the tips. So if you grab a handful of four or five tips and shake them, uh, you know you've got five tips and you can do the math and figure out how many aphids per plant tip. Now, for thresholds, um, if you're doing the shake the tips method, if you're getting any more than two or three per tip on average, that's what we consider the threshold. For sweeping, if you're doing a set of 10 sweeps, it would be 90 to 120 aphids in those 10 sweeps. So 9 to 12 per sweep. Now, given those levels, you'd be experiencing about a 5 to 6% yield loss at those levels. That's where the threshold's been set. And depending on the value of your crop, you can do the math and, and make adjustments to that. Uh, there's been good research behind these thresholds. So there is some flexibility. Uh, in fact, on our website, we have a fact sheet with a table, and the table allows you to make adjustments uh, depending on the value of your crop and the cost of your control. So what sort of damage will the pea aphids actually do in that early potting stage? So what pea aphids do is they're basically competition for the phloem that is trying to reach and develop those peas. So uh, they've got a sucking mouth part, so they tap into the phloem and they're sucking that phloem sap. You will still uh, you still get the same quality of pea production, but quantity you you may get less peas and you may get smaller peas, depending on number of aphids and other stresses such as drought conditions. So it's it's basically a, a quantity uh, loss. What are some of the control options that are available right now? So th there are insecticides registered. Um, in peas, you've got several products you can choose between. And I should also mention, pea aphids can be a, a problem in lentils and faba beans for pulse growers. Faba beans, they can be a real big issue if they're not managed. In faba beans, it gets really tough because uh, there's such a long flowering period and you have to worry about pollinators, which are very critical. So, And there are some products that are um, better suited for those circumstances. So if people have product questions, contact your provincial entomologist. They can guide you through some of that. Aside from insecticides, though, there are a lot of natural controls happening in the field. So things to watch for. Uh, if you're borderline threshold, but you're seeing a lot of lady beetles, lace wings, um, hoverfly larvae, minute pirate bugs, there's a whole set of predators that will feed on pea aphids. And sometimes they can um, contain the populations and prevent them from really exploding into something that would damage a crop. So if you're seeing a lot of those beneficials while you're scouting, that's good, especially if you're not quite at threshold, but you've got lots of these, that's great. There's also parasitic wasps that attack them. Um, the, the, the one that probably does the most harm to the population here is called Aphidius, and there's a few different species of this. They, they're tiny little black wasps. They fly around and lay eggs right into the aphids, and their young live inside the aphids. And eventually you get this corpse. We call them aphid mummies. They look like a, a bronzy inflated aphid sitting on the plant. 
So if you're seeing a lot of those, that's a good thing as well when you're doing your scouting. So it is good to try to factor in some of the natural enemies as well when you're doing the scouting.